Hello my beautiful Pisces and cross watchers. Welcome to your October 2019 love reading. Guys, I'm so excited. We're going to be announcing the winners for September of 2019. They will be announced at the end of this reading. Please don't cheat and skip to the end of the video. I want you to watch this entire reading in anticipation to see if you have won or not, okay? Um, so if you're currently a subscriber, I just want to welcome you back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath um, this video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings and I also give away tarot cards and oracle cards. Um, the winners are always announced in your monthly reading so please be sure to click that notification bell so you know when those readings post. I am taking personal readings. Um, prices and contact information are located in the description box below. The deck we're using today is so cute. It's, a, it's a, the Halloween tarot and it is number 62 in the description box below with an Amazon link in case you're interested in purchasing, okay? So I'm gonna do a quick shuffle here on camera with you guys and then we're going to go over uh, the messages I received during your pre-shuffle while I'm laying out the cards, all right? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Pisces for October 2019? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Pisces, October 2019, please, Holy Spirit? All right, guys. All right, so in the pre-shuffle, Pisces, I got a little bit of a heavy energy, I'm not going to lie. I feel like you guys are really awakening um, to the fact that something needs to change in your current partnership. Um it's 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 definitely not fulfilling you the way you want it to and I feel like um, some of you are going to be making a decision you know there may be a lot of distance between you two there may be an age difference between you two um, but it, it ultimately feels like what this person has to offer is very little and you're just not getting you know what you need out of the connection you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and you're just not really getting you know you don't really feel like this person is coming towards you um from a loving place or you feel like you can't go towards this person from a loving place because there's so much emotional disconnection in, in this relationship um I feel that for a lot of you, you guys want to walk away, but you're not sure if you will regret walking away, because it's not like I'm showing that you don't love this person, you know, I, I feel like there are feelings there, but at the same time, you're just, I feel like, I just feel like there's a lot of changes that would need to be made to this connection, and you're finding that it might be easier to just, you know, leave the whole thing behind and move towards something new than to actually sit there and try to fix everything piece by piece. All right, so let's see what we have here for the monthly reading. Oh yeah, we have the Six of Swords under the deck. All right, so let's see here. So we have the Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords. Again, we're focusing on your wish fulfillment. You're having an awakening as to what you really want and you really need in your connection okay um, you know what the nine of cups you're one cup away from completion so I feel like in your life you're where you need to be do you understand and you just you're looking for that extra one cup to complete your life you're not looking for an outside person to come in and do things for you and complete things for you you're you're at your nine okay and you're awakening to the fact that you just need that one extra person to complete, you know, like I, I feel like maybe career wise or in other aspects of your life, you're kind of where you want to be. You're happy, you're smug, you have your nine cups behind you, but you know, you're just looking for that one person to share it all with. And we have the queen of wands here, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. I feel that, you know, you're very, um, you're feeling sexy, you're feeling secure, you're feeling passionate, you're feeling like you want to feel the love, you want to be happy, you want to be spontaneous, you want to travel, you want to go places. And with the two of wands here, I'm feeling that, you know, you're just, you, the, you, the relationship between you and your person is so distant that there's not that feeling of, um, like, connection. 
okay? With the moon card here, we could be, this is your energy, Pisces, or we could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, I feel like, again, what they have to offer you with the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, it's very minimal. There may be an age difference here, guys, but it's very minimal. And, you know, I feel like you might not be communicating this to your person, or your intuition may be telling you, listen, maybe this person's too young, maybe I'm too young, maybe they're too old, but whatever it is, it's just not enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just not enough. They're not coming towards you um, with enough to fill that 10th cup to get you to that completion cycle there, you know? So we have you here in two of pentacles mode and the world, like you're asking yourself, you know, should I close this chapter in my life and move on? Like you've got one foot in the relationship and one foot outside of the relationship, okay? You, you, you know, you're seeking a Ten of Pentacles person. You're seeking a person that, again, you know, that, that Tenth Cup, okay? You're seeking somebody that's going to fulfill you emotionally, someone that you can share financial abundance with, maybe even have a family. You know, the, with the Queen of Cups here, you're looking for a caring connection. You're also looking for someone, uh, and this is you here, this is Piscean energy, you're looking for a strong connection with the Strength card here. We could be dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, you're looking for a strong connection and you feel that even though you're in a re you know relationship right now, you're in a connection with somebody, again, waiting. You're waiting, 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 waiting for things to kind of like pop off here. But all that's really happening is emotion. Like this person is just kind of cold. You know, they're not, it's, you know, we've got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. Um, and they don't have to be like a cold person, but I'm just saying like relationship wise and in the love that they're offering you, there's not much passion there. There's not much emotional connection. Um, and it has you thinking about, you know, a new beginning, a new beginning in passion, a new beginning in communication, a new beginning in travel. Maybe you want to move and just move out of, if you're living with this person, you want to move away to someplace different. Um, I mean, you have choices here, uh, Pisces, okay? We have you in Empress mode here. So again, I get a very strong feeling that quite a few of you have your shit together. You know what I'm saying? You're, 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 you're feeling good. You're looking good. And now what you're looking at here is the person that's standing next to you. The lover's card is a beautiful card. I mean, it's, it's a soulmate connection. It's a deep love, but it's also making a decision on who you want that soulmate connection and that deep love with, um, we have the Hierophant here, and we have the Ten of Swords. So I'm feeling here, you know, Pisces, that unless somebody is coming from a little bit more traditional place, like unless someone is carrying that spiritual maturity or that traditional maturity on, on what they want in a relationship, you're, will, you're just more than ready to kind of dead the situation with the Ten of Swords here. You know, I mean, you need someone to step up to the plate, both spiritually, traditionally. I mean, this is a marriage card here. So I feel that again, you know, you're at your nine of cups, you're, you're here and you want to get to this 10 of pentacles place, this 10 of cups place. You want, you know, that you don't want to waste your time dating people that just, it's going nowhere. You want to know that there's, that there's going to be completion here, that this is going to lead to marriage or to something serious, you know, a deeper commitment, um, with the page of wands and the six of cups here, um, we could be getting some communication in from an ex, okay? An ex could be coming back into the picture. Um, yeah, this could be the mother of your child, the father of your child, um, an ex-lover. And we have the queen of wands here and the king of wands here. This could be an ex that doesn't want to let you go. This could be a relationship that, you know, you're leaving out in the cold. So for some of you, this could be an actual marriage. This could be someone that you're married to, okay? Um, yeah, I'm feeling here you're going to be getting some passionate messages from... Uh, from an ex coming in, or it could be, you know, your husband or your wife, someone who doesn't want to let the situation go with the four of pentacles and the king of wands here, okay? It, it, it could, you know, someone here could be saying, no, I don't want to let this go. Um, with the five of cups here, though, and the nine of pentacles, I'm feeling, though, that you're, you're ready to walk away, Pisces. We have, you know, five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. You're ready to walk away and be single because you're really 
feeling here like I can love myself better. You understand? You're you're you've got your nine cups already. You really don't need anybody. You're just looking again for someone to share it all with to that one extra cup to complete everything, you know? When you're single, you've got, you know, perhaps financial abundance, but you're just you love yourself just fine all by yourself. You know, you don't you're not really looking for someone to complete you as a person, you're just looking for someone to share it with. And with the Six of Swords here, um, I am feeling that you might be leaving a situation and moving forward because, you know, again, there, you know, we have the Page of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. Uh, they're offering very little, you know, they're coming in as a page and you want this big, beautiful cup of overflowing love. There you go. There's your 10 cups. You know, you got the nine of cups, 10 of cups right there. This is what you're looking for, you know, and this person is coming in with this tiny little cup. Look at the difference between the size of this cup and that cup. You understand? Um, so, I mean, it's just... It's just like, you know, he's got a, a fish in it. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, what do you have in that fit? What do you have in that cup? You know, like, it's just, you know, you want it to overflow with love, you know, and this person's giving you like a dead fish. Like, it's just like, what the hell, you know? Uh, you're just looking for something more fulfilling here. And with the high priestess, you know, I feel like you're, you're doing some soul searching here. All right, guys, so I'm going to take this into an extended, and what we're going to do is a, a whole nother, I'm going to do a pre-shuffle, I'll do a whole nother tarot reading as to um, whether or not, you know, this relationship is going to make it, if you're going to walk away, and if you do walk away, if there's going to be any new love coming in for you, and we'll also pull some oracle to get you some clarity and guidance on the situation. So that link um, for the extended will be in the description box below, okay? So let's go ahead and read the winners for September 2018. And 19. Um, we have the Wisdom Oracle deck. The winner here for the Wisdom Oracle deck is Jessica Adams, won the Wisdom Oracle deck. For the Tarot deck, we have Ethereal Visions. Okay. Um, Mandy Sue won the Ethereal Visions deck. And then I chose four winners to have a 15 minute reading done by me. It is um, Alwayne Steele. Guida Reeb or Ribe, it's R I B E, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Pieces by Kiki and Faith Lolita. Okay, so if you heard your name called, please go ahead and go to the description box below, message me so I could get these cards out to you and those free readings, okay? Um, guys, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And the link to the extended will be in the description box below, guys. I'll see you in the extended. Take care.